Hello everyone, and welcome back. Today I'm very excited to walk you through Alchemex's new ETH strategy. In this video, I'm also going to share a few things about Saddle Finance, which is where the new Al ETH farm will be. I'm also going to give you a ROI calculator on Excel that will be linked below that you can essentially click and type in your inputs and then you'll automatically see the yield you'll be generating over the course of a day, week, month, and year. Now before I get into the strategies for this new Alchemex ETH vault, I'm also going to walk you through um, the launch incident that happened when Alchemex launched their ETH strategy. There was a relatively minor exploit, so I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about that as well. Now before we get into that, I do want to make sure you're familiar with how Alchemex actually works. Um, so I will link in the top right a link to a previous video I did Alchemex that will go very in depth into how Alchemex actually gets a yield for you. But just at a high level, essentially what you would do is you deposit DAI or ETH into Alchemex. From there, Alchemex actually generates a yield on your DAI and ETH um, through Yearn, and Yearn works through the Curve ecosystem. Again, more on that in the linked video on the top right. But while your ETH or DAI is deposited in Alchemex, you're also able to borrow against that ETH or DAI that's deposited. In DAI's case, you can borrow 50% of the value deposited so if you deposit $10,000, you can borrow $5,000 immediately. And with ETH, you can borrow 25% of the deposited value. So if you deposit 4 ETH, you can borrow 1 ETH against it. Now, all of this is advantageous because the deposited DAI or ETH is earning a yield. And while it's doing that, you have access to a little bit of capital that Alchemex lets you borrow from the platform. Again, if you're not familiar, check out that linked video. Um, it's probably the best place to start if you're new for Alchemex. Going forward, uh, this video is going to assume you have an understanding of how Alchemex actually works. Now before I jump into the strategies that I've found and I'm going to share with you, I do briefly want to talk about the incident report of what happened uh, just the other day uh, when ETH launched. So I will link this tweet thread below, which does a great job of explaining it. Um, in it, you can also find a link to the full incident report. The high level of what happened is essentially users were actually able to withdraw ETH, which is uh, the tokenized version of Alchemex's new ETH token. Um, they were able to withdraw that without actually putting up collateral. So about six and a half million dollars worth of Ethereum was taken out uh, with no collateral to back it. Now, obviously this isn't great, but fortunately Alchemex had a deposit cap. So six and a half million dollars while it does sound like a lot, uh, for a protocol as large as Alchemex, it's really not that bad, and they do lay out a good plan to recover uh, the $6.5 million that isn't backing Aleth at the moment. Now, they have two main ways of fixing this. The first is they're going to temporarily increase the protocol fee, which will generate additional revenue and would go towards filling the gap. The second part of their plan is to sell DAI in their treasury to make up for this shortfall as well. So overall, I think they will be able to recover, and this really isn't that bad. Um, Six and a half million dollars for this project, as I mentioned, isn't really too, too much. And the good news is that no users were individually affected by this. So um, if you took out Aleth, it's not like you're going to take a hit. If you look at the market price of Aleth, it's pretty much trading at peg. So uh, the market is pretty confident that Alchemex will be able to easily make up for this shortfall. Now that that's out of the way, I do want to jump into how the Aleth strategy actually works. Uh, so you can see I just hit start here and I switched over to the Al ETH vault, which is on the right. And you can see here that basically you can deposit however much ETH is in your wallet and you can borrow 25% of that deposit amount um, that will be liquid today. Now, some of the most important things to note here, you can see the current ETH APY, and that's coming from Yearn, is about 4.9%. Um, and so that's what your ETH that's deposited is going to be earning every year. Now, I'll show you in just a bit, that's not actually where the yield stops. I'll show you what the actual true yield will be if you follow my strategy. So definitely stay tuned to see the spreadsheet breakdown on that. But essentially, after you've deposited your ETH, you just can simply go over to the Borrow tab and borrow 25% of the value of your collateral. What you deposited is going to be paying it down automatically uh, through Yearn, so that's great. So the amount you can borrow will continuously go up. Now, as you would expect with Alchemex, you can always repay down your debt, um, and therefore you can take out your principal so long as you can pay down the 25% debt you took out. Just something that's great to note if you ever want to withdraw from the Alchemex vault. So now you may be asking yourself, what can I actually do with the Al ETH, which is that ETH that I borrow against the ETH that's deposited? So Al ETH isn't quite exactly ETH, but it can be converted to ETH through Alchemex's transmuter. Uh, that's something I talk about in the first Alchemex video. But in addition to that, they have a farm tab where you can actually farm an Al ETH LP pool. Now what's interesting about this Al ETH farm is that they're not actually going to be using Curve for this farm, they're going to be using Saddle. 
Now Saddle is a fairly new um, LP that's similar to Curve, so it's for trading similarly pegged assets. And you can see the current APR is 69%. And it's important to note this APR will be paid out in Alchemex tokens. So that means you're not directly stacking ETH with this strategy, um, but you can always sell that Alchemix for ETH if you choose to do so. Now I am curious to see how this APR actually changes going forward because right now the price of Alchemix is at almost an all-time low. Um, it's about a third um, of the value of its all-time high. So although I expect more people to deposit into this pool, I also expect uh, the value of the reward token to increase. So I am very curious to see how that APR changes. So if you're not familiar with Saddle, it is quite the reputable project. Um, there's a very well established team behind the project. It's always important to look at the investors backing a project and you can see that they have some of the biggest names in this space like Coinbase Ventures and Alameda Research. What's really exciting about Saddle is they don't have a governance token yet. And uh, I think with these investors backing the project, it's almost guaranteed that they will have to have a governance token at some point because that's basically going to be the exit for all of these VCs. Now, because they don't have a governance token at the time I'm filming this video, I would imagine that they will actually airdrop this to Saddle users, um, people that have swapped on Saddle or provided liquidity. Uh, so I'll be interested to see how that actually plays out. If you do choose to deposit your Al ETH into this pool, uh, you can see as of now there's already $33 million of uh, reserves in the pool. And the pool consists of uh, wrapped ETH, Al ETH, and synthetic ETH. And these are all fairly established um, versions of ETH, so you can be pretty confident that all of these tokens will hold their peg. So as you guys know, I love my spreadsheets. So I built a pretty simple calculator uh, for you all to model out how much you'll actually be earning if you deposit your ETH into Alchemex and then farm it through Saddle. This strategy assumes that you sell your Alchemex rewards periodically to ETH uh, because I'm denominating the returns in both US dollars and ETH. So just something to keep in mind there. Now the spreadsheet is pretty simple, um, it's going to be linked below, I will walk you through that briefly now. Essentially if you want to calculate your return, all you have to do is uh, make a copy of this spreadsheet and then change the inputs in these three cells. It's going to be helpful for you to not touch anything else because all of these are formulas that are linked to other cells. Uh, for instance, I have the ETH price here automatically updating through um, a Google Finance API, so uh, best to just stay to these three cells. All you'll essentially do is put the deposit value and US dollar terms uh, that you put into Alchemex, and then you can change the current ETH APR that Alchemex is earning on your deposited ETH. And you're also going to manually update the current Al ETH APR, and that's basically what you're going to see uh, under the farm page on Alchemex if you were to stake your Saddle um, ETH LP tokens on Alchemex. Again, those rewards are getting paid out in Alchemex governance tokens. So what's really interesting here is, um, although the deposited ETH right now is earning just about 5%, which is actually quite good when you think about um, how much you'd earn from ETH2 staking, which is about 6% now, you're also going to be earning pretty significant rewards from staking the ETH LP tokens. So you can see here the annual APR, uh, which of course is over the course of one year, is going to be about 22.2% on your ETH. This is really great. Um, what Alchemex essentially does is it allows you to lever up on your ETH without liquidation risk, which is something I think a lot of us have been waiting for. Now, of course, this isn't going to be a return from purely stacking ETH. Um, so again, that 5% that you're earning on your deposited ETH will just be stacking ETH. Um, but the Al ETH staking APR is going to come in Alchemex token. So just something to keep in mind, you do want to review if the Alchemex token will increase in value or decrease in the future. But other than that, I think this pool is pretty straightforward straightforward. Um, I will of course link this spreadsheet below and then if you have any questions you can join us in the DeFi Innovation Discord. Myself and the other admins will be happy to help you if you have any questions about Alchemex or any other pools that you're interested in. If this video helped you please uh, consider liking the video and then subscribe if you want to see more content and hit the notification bell if you want to be alerted when I create a new video. Now other than that thank you all so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.